Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, so, we went through the tutorial levels this week. Not really anything special, I did start a new game just to kind of see what was going on, and that's definitely not ready to show anyone. So, yeah, just, just through tutorials right now. So like any good introduction, they basically got a little bit harder as it went on, and you know, like I said in the last one, you add your little puzzles to try to build up what, you know, you had learned in the previous lesson. So it worked out pretty well, um, I really don't have too much to say about all of them, especially some of them that I just didn't really care that much about for either because they weren't the games that I wanted to make or because, you know, they just didn't really interest me that much. Uh, there was one with uh, motion controls that it was kind of interesting to see how it was done and everything, but I don't think I'll actually be doing anything with it. it, it well, at least not right away. I might do something with it in the future, but right now I really don't care that much about it. The one that I found the most interesting kind of felt a little bit like an adventure game. It showed you how to do like the 3D design and everything, and it kind of explained where to put all the different objects, how to install a puzzle, like how to make the code for it. Even if the explanation they gave you for the answer that they give you in the example didn't really make any sense to me, but... I was just more interested in finding out how they were going to be doing all the things that they wanted to do in the game. That was the one that really kind of got the wheels turning in my head as to what I wanted to do for next week. And I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, or at least I have a bunch of ideas. That's really one of my major problems. I have sometimes too many ideas for these works. But it, I'll eventually have something, at least something close to what I want, or, you know, I'll, I'll buckle down and get to it eventually. So the thing with this one that really kind of made a lot of sense to me and made me want to at least go in the direction that I think I want to go in is how you had to do a certain puzzle in order to unlock a secret room. And that's just something I always found kind of interesting with video games, is finding a way to do certain things in order to, you know, unlock another part of the game. And just the way they did this, it... So the way they did it at first didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but I think they were just trying to show some of the mechanics, because they had, like, this secret wall linked to like your uh, right joystick so you could kind of move the wall around and see where you were going that part that was one of the steps in this that kind of drove me a little crazy because it was just it was weird like I don't know why they do that and they don't just jump to like where they're actually coding uh, or at least why they code it in one way and then they have you delete all of that and then change it I, I don't know. I think they're just trying to introduce mechanics slowly, which makes a lot more sense. And me and my weird brain is like, no, 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 let's just jump right in and go straight to where we need to go. But this was one of the more complex ones, which kind of made a lot of sense to me. And there were a lot of things I didn't really think that were... I, I didn't think about. I didn't... Well, obviously, I didn't know they were needed because I, I wasn't thinking about them. But it was just cool to see how they did all of this. And kind of what the different uh, Nodens did and how they kind of interacted. And some of the different and kind of unique things you could do with them. I also want to talk about the camera angle in this. So the way they have it set up is on like an isometric angle with the camera. So it's not going to be following the player around, you're in just a single screen. And that part was kind of interesting to me. It's not the way I'm going to do it in my game, but that one was cool to kind of see how it worked. And I did play around with that a little bit because I thought, you know, 
I can have the camera pointing at my character while he's running around, and that would replace the need to have like a like the game screen camera actually locked on the player. And when I was messing around with it, that didn't work out, so I had to go back to the game screen. It's just a weird thing, because I, I didn't want to do a. In the game that I'm working on, I didn't want to do a 3D game. I kind of wanted to do a top-down view, like the Legend of Zelda, and um, and then Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. So I, and I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> so I tried to do both, and you know, just the game screen one worked. Sorry that that was kind of a confusing explanation. Hopefully it'll make more sense once I actually show off what the what the game I'm working on looks like. But yeah, I, I took a lot of stuff from both this design, a little bit from the racing game design, and some from the platformers, and I'm just trying to see how each one of those things works together. So the thing that I really liked about about the racing game that I mentioned was how they explained a little bit of their artificial intelligence. So with that one you're basically racing another car and they do a few things to one get the opponent to actually move and two to get the opponent to sort of move around the bend and everything. It's honestly set up in a way that you can't lose or if you do manage to lose then you know it you did a real you just did a really bad job but it's cool to see that and i kind of want to kind of want to find a better way of doing it or maybe think about another way of handling it so i can sort of translate that into the enemies for the game that i want to make so just from playing this i'm kind of learning a lot of things that I, I didn't necessarily know about or really think about when it came to game design. Uh, like, I am a beginner on this, so I really don't know most of what I'm doing. That's why I spent so much time with the tutorial and just kind of learning everything as I went. I'm sure if you've played these games before, you know a lot more than I do, or if you have a background in game design, you're probably way ahead of where I am. So, these probably aren't going to be too interesting to you, or you can just laugh at my sheer incompetence as I try to bumble through all of this. So I'm still thinking through a lot of the things that I want to do, just in one of the games that I'm making. One of them is I have to actually like sit down and do the artwork, because right now I just have a lot of the, kind of like the default stuff that's going on. So, yeah, the, it's... Right now, it's none of my stuff really looks very good, just because it's all the uh, stock images and everything. But uh, they'll get better as they go along. Oh yeah, and, and then this part. But <laughs> uh, I, so I'm not doing the artwork on just the touchpad right now. I was doing it with the controller, and just nothing was working. So I just, I was like, you know what, just, we'll leave it out. Inside of there, I was going to have like a, like a big donut. And yeah, w with the controller, just nothing was working for me. <laughs> like I had the pattern set up and everything and just, I, I could not do it for the life of me. I honestly should have just, you know, stopped the recording, taking, taking the uh, switch off the dock and just done it with a stylus. But I didn't for whatever reason. Oh well. <laughs> so next week we'll have something different. It won't be the tutorial anymore. It'll be just something that I've kind of whipped together over the next week. Uh, it won't necessarily be finished. Or at least I don't think it'll be finished. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'll constantly be adding to it. So yeah, whatever. So I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments below, or if you have any ideas for me to try out, let me know. See you later.